Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the Workers' Prayer. I'm Bishop Gerald Tinkai from the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. And every morning we are here to bring to you the word of faith, to bring to you testimonies that will show you that you are not alone in your suffering and God is able to change people's lives. The Bible says he takes a beggar from the dust and sits him with princes, which means the, the situation where you are now is just a phase. It is not your destiny. It's going to pass. If you give a chance to Jesus, he will take you from this dust and lift you up and sit you with princes. How can you start that? Start by making a chain of prayer. Visit one of the branches of the Universal Church. The main branch we're at number one, Kijabe Street, former Globe Cinema, near Globe Roundabout here in Nairobi. You can come and talk to me. I will give you a chain of prayer card. Write your name, write your problem, write the date you're going to start. And every time you come, we are going to sign on this card to stand with you in prayers. Because you don't need to kill yourself. You don't need to take drastic measures. There is a better life awaiting you. But the, the question is, are you willing to receive this better life? Are you willing to give a chance to the Lord Jesus Christ? If you do so, he's going to change your life completely. You don't need to die because he already died for you. Take now a moment and watch this testimony. Do not go away. I'll be right back. Workers' Prayer In life, there are problems that hit you with a blow. Everything crumbles and the heartaches never seem to disappear. Everything keeps going wrong. You are in despair. What do you do when your hope isn't enough? When your single prayer seems to return unanswered and your persisting problem is still there. Partner with God and make a chain of prayer. A chain of prayer is the weekly series of uninterrupted prayer and action. To tackle the most stubborn problems, participate in a chain of prayer and turn things around once and for all. Don't give up. Make a chain of prayer. It works. God. How are you, madam? Fine, Bish. What is your name? Jina langu ni Josephine. Josephine, what happened? Uh, nimekuwa na shida kwa miaka kumi na mbili. Nimekuwa ni kiumo na kitovu sana. Hasa wakati wangu wa period. Inaniuma hata na shindo kuvaa skat, na shindo hata kuinama, hata kuinuka. Lakini wakati nilipo chukua matibabu utakatifu, nikaambia mungu na taka permanent solution. Staki tena ni, ni ishi na ile shida. Nikaenda nyumbani, nika kunywa. Wakati nilipo kunywa, hata wakati mandhiri period yangu imekuja, sijasikia peni yoyote, nimesikia nikiwa free, hata nidisikilia kwa njia by the way nikitembea. Saizi na shukuru mungu kwa uponyaji. Amenipa the permanent solution. Haku nipa ile enye likuwa inakuja. Amenipa sasa ya kudume. So, for how many years? For 12 years. 12 years. So when you took the Matibabu Takatif, you told God, I want a permanent solution. These pains must get out. I don't want to, to have these pains anymore. And God did it. Yes, God did it. And now, Mepon. Kabisa, hata migu nilikuwa na fura wakati sasa yo kitovi na niuma. Migu ina niuma sana. Hata kutembea inakuwa ni shida. Lakini saizi na migu iko sawa. Saizi na sikia niko sawa kabisa na mshukuru mungu. Oh. Kabisa kabisa. Amen. God bless you. Glory be to God. Praise God. Amen marafiki. Workers prayer. Now Farida, you say that God protected you. Satan wanted to kill you. But you've been coming here receiving the anointing of protection. Tell us what happened. It was on a Friday a few weeks ago. I was leaving work, coming to church. There's a pedestrian crossing. It's on the highway, Waiyaki 
Wayakiwe. So when I was leaving work, when I wanted to cross the road, Wayakiwe, the cars are spitting there. Yes, and actually it's on a steep place, but they put a pedestrian crossing there, and there's a bus station ahead. So when I was coming to church, the first vehicles they let me pass, they stopped. But as I was coming, now I'm already halfway, there was a matatu coming speed. And I didn't know what to do. I just stood there. I actually started imagining what now, what will happen after. I started having the images of me lying down there, so much blood, what people would start saying, I don't know, ambulances. I already had the idea that there's no way I'm going to get out of this. But God gave me courage, he gave me composure because mostly when people see vehicles coming, they run to cross. But I stood there, the vehicle came and swerved. It missed me and went to stand far away from me. And I was safe. Then afterwards, now that's when I realized, oh my God, I'm alive. I've not been run over. I was so happy. So it was God. Yes, it was God. We could be talking about the late Farida by now, right? Yes. You would have been buried already. Already, yes. So your, your family would be crying now. Yes, and missing their little girl. But now, because of this anointing, God protected you. Yes, God protected me and I'm so grateful. Amen. God bless you. Clap your hands to Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray right now, we're going to talk to God. I need you, Rafik Yangu, to pay attention to what we are doing. We are not here bringing you a new denomination. We are not here bringing you a new religion. But we are telling you that Jesus Christ has power to change your life. Jesus Christ has power to take away your suffering. But he needs you to open your heart and believe that he's able to do so. Take your glass of water now. Let's talk to him in prayer. Often we are faced with various kinds of problems in our lives and we lose the direction of how to overcome them. So why not pray and ask God's direction? Now prepare your glass of water because it is time for a moment of prayer. Let's talk with God. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, there are many people who are watching me at this moment who are in agony. They are in trouble, Lord, because they can't pay the rent of their house. They cannot pay for the school fees of their children. They have no food to eat. These people are in suffering, Lord. Sometimes they go to bed on empty stomach. Yet others are sick and the doctors are unable to help them. Not even all the money this person has can change his situation. They need a divine intervention. Lord, I pray that you intervene. I pray that you touch them with your mighty power. Break the chains of darkness. Break the chains of misery and sickness. Bless this glass of water, my God. When they drink from this water, let them receive life. Let them receive your power in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Drink now from your glass of water, Rafik Yang, in faith and be blessed in the name of Jesus.
trust in God and believe in yourself as well. Start the chain of prayer. Take note of the helpline numbers of the Universal Church. You can also take note of my email address. You send me an email. If you have any kind of problem, I will respond to you and I will help you. SMS your friends. Text them and tell them to watch the workers' prayer every day, 9 o'clock in the morning here on K24, so that they can also put their glasses of water. We pray with them. May God bless you abundantly. In the name of Jesus Christ, bye-bye. Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer.